Hendren Plastics, Simmons Foods, Care, or Christian Alcoholics and Addicts in Recovery, and DARP, the Drug and Alcohol Recovery Program, are all named in an October 23rd lawsuit and accused of conspiring to use drug court participants for free labor. That lawsuit was filed by two men who say they were court ordered to work as an alternative to incarceration, and they say they didn't get paid. Hendren Plastics owner Senator Jim Hendren says his company had paid $9.25 an hour plus overtime for the employee's work through the program. He spoke to us about it Tuesday, the same day he canceled his company's agreement with the organization. And it's disheartening for me to think about the kids now that uh, are going to end up having to go sit back in jail because uh, of, of these type of lawsuits. Benton County Circuit Court Judge Tom Smith is familiar with DARP too. He oversees the county's drug court. So we try to keep from locking up people that are suffering with their addiction. The judge says his court uses programs like Oasis House, Decision Point, Havenwood, or Restoration Village to get people back on their feet. If people fail in these programs, Judge Smith says DARP is sometimes an option. And we use it as one of our tools when we need to use it. It's all about trying to stabilize to keep from putting them in some form of lockup to the taxpayer's cost. I mean, who pays when I have to lock up somebody for six months, 90 days, a year, six years because of an addiction? We end up paying for it. He says he understands that the program provides room and board, food and drug counseling as participants work for companies like Simmons or Hendron Plastics. It, it's a last chance. On average, Judge Smith tells us he sends about one to three people to the DARP program once a month. And we're trying everything we can to keep from putting them in prison because we've determined based on science that the reason for their crimes is related to drug addiction. The judge says he's never heard of problems until this lawsuit. I've never received a complaint about the program from somebody I sent there. Uh, I'm not aware of anybody that's ever been hurt or felt mistreated. If there was, we would address that. And all, all people in a drug court have a lawyer at all times. A spokesperson for Arkansas Community Correction says DARP was a licensed transitional house for parolees. In 2014, though, ACC chose not to renew its license, which meant parolees could no longer stay there. ACC's deputy director says, quote, it did not meet ACC standard that parolees must be paid at least minimum wage for their labor. DARP is now legally being used by drug courts in Benton, Washington, and Sebastian counties. Now, we have been trying to talk to people with DARP for three days. Mary Doyle with DARP says they have been advised by their legal counsel not to comment. Una Lee, 4029 News.